The restaurant business is one of the most uh, profitable ventures in the world and in Kenya uh, the restaurant business has been growing exponentially over the past five years uh, before we got hit by COVID-19. So to help us look at the restaurant business is uh, uh, on how it is faring right now. I'm joined by Gertrude Mudola. She owns and manages her own restaurant known as GM Delicacies. Thank you for creating time to be with us. No, thank you so much. All right, so starting us off, I would like to find out for how long have you been in the restaurant business? Okay, it's, uh, yeah, I'm new to the business. Okay. It's over one month now. Oh, one month? Yeah. So yeah. How, how is business right now? I can't complain much. Mm -hmm. It's so good. As long as you listen to your customers, you also pay, you begin with their opinion. It's mm -hmm. awesome. All right, so how did you get into the food industry? Like, what was your interest and uh, in what position were you, uh, were you at when starting? I'm a customer care service. Mm -hmm. uh, I did air hostessing, but apparently right now with the COVID-19, it's uh, hard to get the jobs. Uh, jobs. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just, I like cooking so much. I love cooking. So I just decided to venture into restaurant. No, right. and you go into this particular industry when it was <laughs> the point where we are actually being hit so hard with COVID-19. Business, <laughs> business is taking a risk. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I just, it's a risk I took and I'm not regretting. What was the initial capital? Where did you get your capital to start? Uh, I had some savings. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where I started from. Right. Yes. So what sort of background do you have? Do you have a background in hospitality? What education background do you have? Uh, as I told you before, I did customer care. So All I right. have nothing in hospitality. Mm -hmm. It's just the passion I have, the mm -hmm. passion that drives me in uh, preparing the good meals that mm -hmm. my customers enjoy. All right. Uh, so for someone who is watching this and they're thinking, okay, you have a background in customer service, which is essential when it comes to just conversing with your customer and also bringing in potential customer in, they will be asking, uh, what do I need to start like a food vendor business? Yeah. Uh, as long as you have people who support you, that is one. People who give, who give you the morale to just go for it, mm -hmm. you, because you have you have some others who oppose you. Like that is not your field, but you, if you listen to yourself and you listen to those who give you the the the, the good vibes, mm -hmm. you will go for it. All right, and we have so many restaurants, and uh, well, probably tell us where your restaurant is based. That before we even look at what's the niche for you in the market. Okay, uh, my restaurant is GM Delicacies. It's uh, located in Kitengela, uh, next to Three Ways Apartments. All right. Yes. Uh, so what's the niche or when it comes to GM Delicacies? Because we have so numerous restaurants out here that serve us different delicacies. So what yeah. is different when we come, when we come to GM Delicacies? Uh, the difference in my kiosk, my kibandaski, mm -hmm. is the soup. Okay. The soup, miguyangombe. Hey. That is what we prepare. All right. And for those... Uh, for those people who come new, so uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. that is their meal. I want your clients when you are yeah, going to come. Yeah, those are my big up. <laughs> those are my clients. <laughs> so, did you consider taking your business online, uh, especially during the time of COVID? Consider you started uh, when we were still looking on ways to just uh, uh, just live with COVID nineteen and just adapt to the new yeah. norm. Uh, online, no, I've never thought of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I decided to just put it to just put it there for my customers to see like online right now, d like doing the orders, mm -hmm. uh, I've not reached that point. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what is your marketing strategy looking forward considering the business is so young? So what is the marketing strategy that you have planned uh, for the business? Mm, maintaining my customers, mm -hmm. that is one. Because if you treat a customer right, they will go like telling everyone there's a hotel there, there's a Kibandaski there, mm -hmm. which is different and that is what they do. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, Kibandaski, it's not all about uh, like it's an open air and such a thing. Uh, for mine, I've made it a bit different. It's closed, so when someone is eating, it's a bit private. And when you set your prices, you also consider them. So when they come, they look at the menu, they're like, wow, I like this. So the next time they come, you served one, but the next time they come, they come like three. And the next time they go tell others. Mm -hmm. Like right now, uh, mostly we deal with the do they what's the one do they mm. so like you serve one and they're like wow we like your meals they're awesome your customer service is good so the next thing you see like they're Managing coming so many it. of them yeah mm -hmm. and I, I i thank god for that okay are you into this full time 
Yeah, I'm into it full time. It's a thing I've decided. All right. So you leaving your previous job, you were employed, and now actually you're running a business. What is the difference of the two worlds? Okay, being employed, you know, you're under someone. Yes. You, yeah, you work in limits. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're self-employed, you can run yourself. Mm -hmm. You can organize yourself. I wake up in the morning, this is what I do, what I do, this and this. If you have to sort an issue, you can call someone to come and stand up for you as you go sort uh, some issues out. But if you're, you are employed, you are cut off, you are limited mm -hmm. to okay. some extend. Yeah, there are pros and cons in the two worlds. So let's look at the fact that when you're employed, you are assured of a check at the end of the month. Yeah. And now you are running your own business and you're actually new to this business. So how, how do you maintain your finances and what couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way? Uh, what I've learned is that every day is not like a Sunday. So like uh, Monday you, you like have a customer still you're confused. Tuesday you have nothing. So I've learned to like uh, accept that uh, you sell today, tomorrow it's nothing, or tomorrow you sell a bit. So it's uh, something you have to be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just uh, patience actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, do you have, how many, how many employees do you, have you employed and uh, how, how have you guys uh, been like in terms of keeping afloat during this time of the pandemic? Uh, actually right now because we've just started, we are two. Okay. Yeah, and... Uh, Which is reasonable. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> we are two, uh, but right now uh, because we have like workload, we are trying to recruit some other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so initially you said like in terms of, uh, let me check you back, initially you said okay. that uh, in terms of capital, you you used your savings that you had yeah. savings did you in your in your mind prior when you're still employed did you have a clear picture that i really want to get into business so i'm starting to save up now or is it like uh, at the end of it like you decided like i want to leave my job and i want to get into business let me think of now saving or is it something that you planned earlier that's what i'm asking okay apparently i had started some other businesses but they didn't work interesting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I used to go to Gikomba very early in the morning mm -hmm. and get second-hand clothes. By that, it was exhausting mm -hmm. and it wasn't going through. Mm -hmm. And I tried another one, Isli. Mm -hmm. I used to go Isli now, get the new ones. Okay. Uh, that one, it was a bit, uh, a bit awesome, but it wasn't like that much. Mm -hmm. So the restaurant thing, it wasn't in my mind actually. Mm -hmm. But I was just passing by that place and I saw like this container. I just to then there was like I need to get a business but I don't know the kind of business I want to put there so I just mm -hmm. went in the house and I'm like I love cooking why don't I just like take a risk and try it mm -hmm. and I just went for it All right. yeah okay so when it comes to finding a good location for your business uh, how did you come up in consideration considering that and what was your plan before even having uh, a spot of your own and name it GM delicacy uh, uh the business uh the business i just uh, it's uh can you repeat the question again it's okay like the location how did you come up with the location how sure are you like see this place this is the right location <laughs> for my business yeah, uh, yeah okay uh you look at the people living around mm -hmm. their standard mm -hmm. so when you set up a business you like the price should be considered you should consider them uh like for me gem delicacies the food I cook there, okay, mostly the people around that place are uh, kisses, luyas. So the main food should concern them. Those are your customers. Okay. Yeah. So like, like uh, the Nduthi guys, most of them, like Kitengela, 90% are kisses. Mm -hmm. So when you cook like uh, the <laughs> the leg, uh -huh. that uh, that leg, uh -huh. and managu. Traditional meals. Yeah, yeah, they come, like, they don't complain, and mm -hmm. the price should be favorable. You tell them the price, and they're like, mm -hmm. that's it. They don't even bargain. Okay. Yeah. What, couple of, uh, what are the couple of uh, challenges that you faced uh, uh, in your business? Okay, as you, when you are introducing customers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you find some customers there, they're not patient. Okay. Yeah, they come, they want to be served like the first, r very r rough. But uh, you just learn how to handle them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking back, do you, f do you regret that you started this business? Considering that you had two which actually failed. Uh, looking back, do you regret uh, getting into the food uh, vendor business? Okay, um, I can't regret because it's something that I love doing. Mm -hmm. I love cooking so much. So it's passion. I really can't regret. All right. Okay, for someone who is watching this and they, w they love cooking, 
as you do, and they think I'm not going to school, uh, catering school, I've not done any sort of like hospitality yeah. uh, course, and I just want to start my own uh, restaurant. What would be your advice to that person? Uh, if you have a dream, go for it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you have the papers or not. I don't have the papers for hospitality or catering, but it's uh, you just decide mm -hmm. and let your spirit drive you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And uh, what about the f if they bring up the financial aspect of it? Um, the financial you can organ you can arrange or you can <laughs> get a loan or your friends mm. can chop in something. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's the future of GM Delicacy? Uh, you're going to grow. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I have a. I, I, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grow. Like the, that place is growing. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the place is growing. I believe you. I really do. Yeah. So let's look at the menu. Delicacy is like the most uh, uh, ordered meals at uh, GM Delicacy as we wind up. Uh -huh. uh, for now, uh, the area I'm dealing with the fundies, you mm -hmm. know, like there are so many That's constructions. Your target, yeah, target yeah there are so many constructions mm -hmm. going on there. And uh, then do the guys, even the local people, mm -hmm. like they come and buy. So the main food is uh, Ugali Managu. Mm -hmm. That is the like. That one, I, when it's I cook, I, food, yeah. yeah. That is when I cook, I know like mm -hmm. this one. I'm not going with it in mm -hmm. the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like ugali managu, that one goes without complaining. Okay. Matumbo, mm -hmm. like beef mm -hmm. and the legs. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, the soup goes mm -hmm. like till people complain. Like, why can't you just cook a lot? What are the benefits of you know taking soup? Because we had, <laughs> I had it has, it, it has so many benefits, by the way. Uh -huh. uh, like uh, it helps in your bones, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, for the mothers who have delivered, uh -huh. the, yeah, it helps in the milk. Okay, okay. Yeah. So ugali managu, the soup, and all else. Yeah, and uh, ugali matumbo. Uh -huh. I also cook chapati. Oh, right. Yeah, they they really sell, and mandazis in the morning. Uh -huh. Traditional meals, <laughs> guys who love traditional meals, you are all catered for. For the fast food guys, you know how where to go to, but it's not anywhere. When it comes to, uh, why are the guys who? <laughs> what do you think the young generation don't like the traditional meals? Like a huge section of the young generation. Okay, like um, some of my customers, they come with the kids uh -huh. and they're like, "Mami, onamgu yangombe." <laughs> so like they they don't know that is food. <laughs> that is they know that yonimgu <laughs> yangombe. <laughs> Alright, so how, how can guys find you uh, if they want to come to GM Delicacy and just experience the traditional meals that uh, that you guys have to offer on your in your restaurant? Okay, uh, they can visit us mm -hmm. at Kitengela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can visit us in Kitengela. Uh, three ways apartment. Just ask for soup where the soup is. Mm -hmm. You won't get lost. And we also we also would do the orders. If you want an order like for the soup, uh, you can find find me uh, zero seven. 14600-491 or 0707-09-2627. Oh, you can repeat that one, the last one? Oh, the last number? Yes. 0707-2627. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So as simple as that, that's what you uh, reach out to Getrude and uh, the GM Delicacy and get your traditional yummy meals. Thank you very much, Getrude, for getting yes, time thank to be with us. <laughs> All right, remember you can follow us across all our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira. So you can find me across all my social media handles. So right now we're going for a break and we'll be right back.